In this video, we will go through a quick overview of Android CICD boilerplate. Let's try to answer a few questions. What is CICD and why do you need to use it? First of all, CICD allows you to increase productivity through automation. As in the manufacturing industry, you can automate the repetitive build process with automated workers, allowing developers to focus on value-added design and development processes. Let's talk about advantage of this boilerplate. With our boilerplate, you don't need to think about setting up a build machine to build an Android application. We use a Docker container with pre-installed dependencies like a build environment. With this boilerplate, you can easily build the CI-CD for your Android application based on Fastlane. We use GitLab CI or GitHub Actions as the executor Fastlane commands and the construction of the workflow. We use Fastlane function for Slack notification about successful job or errors in pipeline. Let's check the basic tools used to build a CI-CD for a mobile application. First one, GitHub Actions or GitLab CI. There are tools for organizing CI-CD. We use these tools as an executor for Fastlane function and build workflow. Next one, Fastlane. This is a main tool for Android developers to automate tedious tasks, like dealing with provision profiles, building and releasing your application. Firebase. Firebase app distribution makes distributing your apps to trusted tester painless. By getting your apps onto testers device quickly, you can get feedback early and often. Google Play. Google Play is an online store where people go to find their favorite apps, etc. Let's look at pipeline and its workflow. By default, we use fairly simple workflow. The developers works in a picture branch, then developers create merge request or pull request, uh, then the pull request review it and approve it, and then Pull request is merged into the main branch. If necessary, you can change the workflow as you need it. Let's open the GitHub Actions UI. We can see four workflows. Build and push base image, linter tests, staging and uh, production. The tests and linter jobs run when the pull request created. If job successful, you can merge pull requests. After that, we can see test and linter jobs which run after merging a pull request with the main branch. If tests and linter jobs are successful, a job is automatically started to build and release the application on staging Firebase. If this job on staging Firebase is successful, a job build and deploy the application on pre-production Firebase is automatically started. If the pre-production release is successful, the job is started for Google Play. The first step is to create a GitHub issue and uh, wait message from approver. Then, if the approver sends a message of approve or deny, the automatic build and distribution of the application to Google Play is started. And uh, in the job output, you can find detailed information about build and uh, release process. You can see information something like that. Let's go to the Firebase and check our released applications. This is our Firebase project for staging and pre-production releases. You can see the package name for staging and uh, pre-production. What else? You can see this number. First part of this number, this is a version number and second part this is a pipeline id with this uh, id you can easily find the pipeline which created and distributed application to the firebase and the next we have detailed documentation which you can use for prepare ccd for your android application from scratch we can see detailed information about service account signing case and uh, environment variables which you can use to build your pipeline. To learn more about building Android CICD with our boilerplate, 
Let's visit our GitHub page.